Hey y'all, welcome back to another Teen Book Babble. I'm Haley, and today I'm going to be talking about The Princess and the Grilled Cheese Sandwich by Dea Muniz. This is a graphic novel that is so cute and so, so funny. It's also very, very cheesy in the best way possible. The book follows Lady Camembert, or Cam for short. Her dad is pressuring her to get married, and Cam is very upset about it. Uh, but her dad has a reason for pressuring her, and it's because he's dying. And the only way for a woman to inherit her parents' fortune is to be married and have the husband be the one to actually inherit all the money. Women definitely don't have a lot of equality at this point. So Lord Camembert just wants to find somebody to take care of Cam, and Cam isn't interested in getting married because Cam isn't interested in men. Her dad is super supportive of this though, and helps her come up with a plan on how to live her life for when he's gone, where Cam will pretend to be a man. After his funeral, she and Feta, her dad's most trustworthy staff member, burn her dresses and take her dad's clothes. They move to Fondue, the capital city in the kingdom of Fromage, where no one knows them. So Cam is now Count Camembert. Her dad's last request was that she keep a low profile, and she does. Well, she does for a little bit, but she's bored. She has to do something, and that something ends up causing a massive scene at Princess Bree's ball. Eventually, she ends up becoming close friends with none other than the princess herself, uh, someone who could easily throw Cam in the dungeon or even have her beheaded for pretending to be a man. But that's not the kind of Princess Brie is. She's an activist and wants to make a difference in society. So now Cam is hanging out with Brie basically all the time, and everything's great. Except Cam ends up falling in love with Brie, and Brie is falling for Cam. Except Brie still thinks that Cam is a man. Uh, comedy and a bit of miscommunication ensue. There's also, once again, lots and lots of cheese. Uh, no, seriously, even the dog is named after a type of cheese. It's amazing. You might even want to make yourself a grilled cheese sandwich to go along with this book. It was an absolute delight to read from start to finish. I didn't want to put it down. The characters are silly and Cam and Bree's friend group are wonderful. The art goes from absolutely gorgeous to absolutely hilarious, and it transitions back and forth so seamlessly. The idea for the book is really sweet, too, because it came from the author's personal experience with their wife. I love this book, and I hope y'all do, too, if you decide to read it. The Princess and the Grilled Cheese Sandwich is available in print at Fountaindale. Hi everyone, this is Alex, a teen specialist here at Fountaindale. I'm here to talk about Laidback Camp by Afro. So, I'm not the type that usually enjoys doing a lot of things uh, in large groups of people. Um, I like doing things very uh, by myself a lot of the time. I might be a little bit of an introvert, but I think that, that can be completely made even better or feel nicer sometimes uh, in the context of, of things like camping. Our main character, Rin, has that in mind where she she very much likes the idea of just spending her time alone in the wilderness on top of Mount Fuji. You know, normal things that teenagers do. But Rin loves this kind of thing. And she doesn't see that changing anytime soon. That is until a certain person stumbles into her camp and makes her change change how she thinks she might enjoy camping. That person that just stumbles into the into Rin's campsite is Kaga Kaga Mihara. She is really cl klutzy. She just starts exploring randomly and she stumbles upon upon Rin's Rin's cabin and starts eating her her ramen, starts hanging out in her in her comfy tent and after everything's done and over, Kagamihara isn't gonna freeze because she got lost uh, on the way home. They both ponder the idea that maybe, you know, we can, there can be a situation where having another person 
at a, at a, during, uh, having another person enter, enter your space that you might think was better by yourself might be a better option. So uh, I, I, I fell in love with this, this, uh, this manga, especially after watching the anime, because the anime is just gorgeous. There's particular spots, spots where you know this was going to, where you know there's going to be a shot in the anime every single time, time. There's cute dogs, they bring cute dogs, and you start having a, a lot more characters join, join the, join the experience of, of camping. And you see Rin's uh, very hard wall, like very, very slowly crumble, crumble, and you just are so proud, proud of her, how far she's come, how far she's like brought these people up to where they knew nothing about camping. You learn a lot. I especially love how much you learn about camping in this, in, in this anime and both in the anime and both the manga. They teach you a lot of very like practical things. They teach you, they show you a lot of food. Oh my, you are gonna love this this book, the an and the anime afterwards if you absolutely love food. But in general, this is another bit of a twix on a cute girls doing cute things but it is extremely wholesome you're always trying you're always trying to just like enjoy the scenery you'll be look if th this is among among the books that i personally would be looking at every single page l looking at the scenery checking out all the all the quirks that are going around around all the expressions of everyone as they as they bask in how beautiful the scenery is especially if i bought this book oh my god i i would look at it all the time but i don't have to buy this book because it's here at fountaindale outside the vortex for you to check out it might be in a book bundle at some point maybe right now check it out